No murders, more love. That is the message from community leaders in Germantown today as they call for an end to the violence plaguing the city of Philadelphia. As of last night, there have been 466 homicides in Philadelphia. Good evening, I'm Dawn Timoney. That is an 11% spike from this time in 2018. Local leaders holding an anti-violence rally today in hopes of bridging generations and saving lives. Dave Kinchin joining us now from police headquarters. Dave. Yeah, that's right. Every time we do these stories, we find there are more voices at the table that have not been heard before, but the message is the same. We must stop the violence and save lives now. In Germantown, a message for black youth from the black community, one that organizers say doesn't get heard enough. I'm proud of you, sir. I'm proud of you, sir. The rally, No Murders, More Love, bringing together the youngest generation of Philadelphians and the seniors counting on them to make the big moves that save lives, heal the hurt, and build up community with the city closing in on 500 murders for the second time in two years. Just thank God that I'm able to get out of the bed every day and continue to fight. An amazing feat considering former state representative Movita Johnson Harrell lost so many to violence, including her father, brother, and two sons. Dante Johnson was killed earlier this year. And he went into Compton because somebody wanted fish. And my son didn't even eat seafood. And somebody pulled up because it was a crowd and shot into the crowd and shot four people. My son was the only fatality. They put a bullet in my son's right eye. From the recent killing of two women at a North Philadelphia speakeasy to the many young murder victims who never had a chance to discover their full potential. It's the hope of community organizers like Ant Brown that the youth can find the answers city leaders have struggled to find on their own. Yeah, I just spoke to city council recently. What I would say is, um, it's not, I, I'm not, I don't leave the work of saving our young people into politicians. We, us poor black men, we are stepping up and taking charge, taking initiative and fixing our young people. Meantime, city leaders continue to meet with various community groups to try to get this violence under control. And the police department is working with the Biden administration as part of a national partnership as well. Back to you, Dawn. All right, Dave Kinchin, thank you. Sadly, though, the violence continued tonight.